Hi, my name's Colby and you are watching one of my 10 minute tutorials. Here is our 10 minute tutorial for today. I'm going to show you how to paint a branch of watercolor cherry blossoms. Welcome to another 10 minute tutorial. In this YouTube video, we are going to learn how to paint a branch of cherry blossoms. So this is the reference photo that I pulled up from Unsplash. Thank you, Anthony Delanois, for sharing your photo with us. Um, so we're just going to use this reference photo as a base point for painting our branch of cherry blossoms. So it looks like there's a branch that comes out from the side of the painting and just a few bunches of blossoms with some buds as well and this looks totally doable so first let's learn how to actually paint the blossom so cherry blossoms are so beautiful because their colors are so delicate on the petals right you can, sometimes you can't even tell if they're pink or if they're white and i love that about cherry blossoms and watercolor is one of the best tools to really capture the light and capture the soft colors in those blossoms and this video is going to show you how so first let's start by learning to paint the actual blossoms so i'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit better okay to paint these cherry blossoms we're going to utilize watercolors transparency and color to our advantage. So one thing about watercolor that I know is that when you add water to it, it makes the color lighter, right? So that's how you manipulate the lightness or darkness of a color with watercolor is by adding more water to it. So this is Windsor Red from Windsor & Newton. And when I added water to this swatch, notice how you get this really soft and delicate color and you can gradually move back to this red color. That is exactly what we're going to try to achieve with cherry blossoms. So first, start with some watery but also pigmented dots of red or dark pink, whatever. And then clean off your brush and form some petals from the center. So just use your paintbrush to move the paint around and we're gonna make five of these petals. And I'm just using water when I'm forming these petals around the center of the blossom. And then I'm twisting my paper around. I'm just using water. And because watercolor is activated by water, the heavy pigment that I already put in the blossoms is going to move on its own to create these delicate color shifts, these delicate gradients really moving from the center of the flower outward. And so then after I've painted that, I'm gonna go back with even more color and just kind of dot it along in the middle so that I can watch as it spreads outward. And I can even do some manual blending here with my paintbrush just to give it a little extra push. And then I'm gonna wait for this to dry. Now that my cherry blossom has dried, I'm going to take more of this red and paint the stamen or the little, you know, sprigs of the little dots that come poking out of cherry blossoms. So I'm just gonna paint thin lines coming out from the center here. Sometimes cherry blossom stamen are yellow and sometimes they 
are red. So this time I'm doing red. And that is a cherry blossom, kind of big and up close. And now uh, let's practice painting a bud. So in order to paint a bud of a cherry blossom, it just kind of, you paint it so it looks like a little seed, right? Um, one of my favorite ways to paint the buds is to, I used the wrong size brush there, is to paint one side a color, so like that red color, and then paint the other side just with water so that we can once again create a subtle gradient from one side to the other and create that shading there with the color. So that's how you paint a little bud on a tree. And now that we've practiced the basics of painting these florals, let's put it together in a branch. Okay, so the thing about painting florals on branches is you would think that you might start with the branch first, but in reality, it's much easier to begin with the bunches of florals before you actually paint the branch. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna paint a few bunches. So there are two branches. We're gonna paint a branch like right here and then a branch jutting out right here. And we're gonna paint a few bun bunches of cherry blossoms up and down. We've already get, gone over the instructions for how to paint those cherry blossoms, so here is the time lapse for that. Okay, let's step out of the time lapse a little bit. Um, so we painted the little clusters of cherry blossoms. So I'm envisioning like a branch coming right here and then a branch jutting out over here. And I painted the cherry blossoms first and then I'm gonna paint the branches and then I'm gonna paint the buds. So before I do that though, I'm going to go ahead and add some of these details to the cherry blossoms, adding the little stamen that are poking out of here. Okay, continue with the time lapse. So the branch that's jutting out here is going to be pretty delicate. We're just going to paint in between these clusters. To connect these flowers together. Remember, this is loose watercolor florals, so things don't have to look uber realistic. We just mostly have to get the shape and have faith that it's going to be beautiful. And it is. So, um, so we're going to paint this branch around the flowers. Okay, just like that. And then this one, that's gonna come, let's say like right through here and poke out kind of like that. Maybe like that. Maybe this is like part of a larger tree that's coming out this way. Notice I'm saying maybe because sometimes I start out with like a general idea of what I think I'm going to do. And then I do something different. And this is a very common occurrence for me. I kind of just fly by the seat of my pants all the time. So 
this is how I'm going to paint this branch. I'm going to leave a little bit of white space. I made this branch a little bit like wider right here and I'm going to leave some white space just to add some kind of jagged character to the wood because I think it looks cool. So by the way, in case you're wondering why that's there. Um, so now that I've painted the general direction of the branches, I'm just going to add a little, a few little nubs to the branch, partly so I can add some buds to those nubs and partly because I think they look cool. The thing about branches when you paint the branches on is you want to make sure, or at least try to the best of your ability, to make sure that they connect the, all the flowers onto the tree. So I mean this again, this is loose watercolor so it doesn't have to be super realistic but it is nice when you can connect. So that's what I did just there. I noticed that this flower seemed to be kind of floating aimlessly so I just made a little branch connecting it there. Um, now we're going to paint just a few buds on the tree. So using a little color, a little water, some of the buds are going to be with the cherry blossoms as well. Just right here. So you can also get that contrast of colors by adding dark after. So if you like paint with a really light, AKA watery red, and then add some darker red pigment after, you can get some nice shading with that method as well. That is via the wet on wet technique. Okay, I think, I think two more buds and we'll be good to go. Just paint one right there. And one just here. Okay, and voila, here is a branch of watercolor cherry blossoms just in time for spring. Thank you so much for watching this 10 minute YouTube tutorial and I will see you next time.